Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our last lecture of collections sorting series, we covered how we can achieve natural sorting for list, set and map collection for string and wrapper class objects. In case you are not familiar with what is natural sorting and how to achieve natural sorting for list, set and map for string and wrapper class objects, I'll request you to please take a look on my previous video, which I'll be sharing in the eye icon as this video will work like a basis for the current video now let us try to understand what we'll be covering so first we'll try to understand what is comparable and then we'll discuss about natural sorting for the custom class objects so in the last lecture we discussed natural sorting for string and wrapper class objects and this time we'll discuss about natural sorting for the custom class objects so what is custom class so class defined by user is known as custom class now let us say we have list of custom class and we have created array list object and let us say we have added uh, objects of custom class and we want to sort them so in those cases uh, the natural sorting won't work by default so we'll have to uh, implement a comparable so this is what we'll try to understand as part of current lecture so first let us try to understand what is comparable <coughs> so as already discussed in the previous lecture that comparable is one interface in java which is responsible for achieving the natural sorting now let us try to understand from the practical demonstration so we have this comparable interface so this is an interface which belong to lang package java.lang and if you go by the definition it says this interface imposes a total ordering on the objects of each class that implements it what does it says it says whichever class will implement comparable interface it will impose the total ordering and this ordering is referred to as natural ordering or natural sorting right now let us scroll down so as we already discussed that this is interface so this is the signature of this comparable interface and as this is an interface so it will have one uh, method which uh, would not be would not have been defined so whichever class will be implementing it they will have to provide definition of it and as a result using this compare to method they will have to implement the sorting uh, mechanism right so in the last lecture we covered that how we were able to achieve natural sorting for string and integer uh, wrapper class string objects as well as wrapper, uh, wrapper class objects because they were internally implementing a comparable interface now we are going to discuss how we can achieve natural sorting for custom class so let us read the definition in order to achieve the natural sorting for object of a custom class custom class should implement comparable interface to define the natural sorting right now first try to understand what is custom class so i have created one class employee with two instance variable name and age then i have created one constructor a parameterized constructor to create the objects with name and age and this is one two string method to print the object reference variables don't worry about it this is some java concept uh, so ignore it now what i have done i have created one main method wherein i am creating objects of employee class whichever i have created just now and employee employee one new employee so using this particular line of code at line number 25 what we are doing we are creating employee one with name as a prince and age as 32 likewise we are creating second employee object with rakesh as a name and age as 33 in the third case we are implementing uh, we are creating uh, employee three object with the employee name as himanshu and age as 29 and likewise rahul 34 right now what we are going to do we are going to put them into the list so for that purpose i have created list of employee so list can accept any type of string right so what i am doing i am creating list of employee so previously we were doing list of string this time it is list of employee so now i can add uh, objects of employee class so i have created employee 1 employee 2 employee 3 and employee 4 now i'm going to add them so i have added all four objects into the employee now if i'll try to print this particular employees list what will happen so as you know that list 
uh, array list maintains the insertion order whichever order they are inserted it will be maintained so you see that first what is coming prince uh, name prince and age 32 is appearing object is appearing i mean then rakesh and 33 is appearing and himanshu and 29 is appearing and then rahul and uh, 34 is appearing right now how to sort it so in the last lecture we discussed how we can sort a list so we can do using collections.sort and this time what we need to pass we need to pass employees right so employees is the list where we want to apply the sorting now you will see that i'm getting compilation error because this particular method collections.sort it is expecting the elements or the list uh, uh like list of employee the class which uh, this list has should implement the comparable so if i'll hover over here you will see sort the specified list into ascending order according to natural ordering of its element all element in the list must implement the comparable interface right but the comparable interface is not implemented by this employee that's why we are getting the uh, compilation error now let us try to understand how we can implement the comparable so as we discussed that in case we want to implement natural sorting so we'll have to use comparable right so this is the syntax so first we'll have to implement it then comparable and in angle bracket we need to pass the class name right once we have implemented it we need to implement the method so i'm going to click on red red bulb and then click on implement methods and as a result i'll have to implement this compare to method here i have to write logic so as this particular employee class has two attributes and let us say we want to sort them based on either name or based on age and on on i mean on any one parameter so in that case we'll be using comparable and we'll be defining like that right so let us say we do this dot age minus or dot age so what we are doing we are comparing the current reference with the object reference so we are comparing the ages so this compare to method what it is doing it will uh, give us sorting based on age now what we will do so if you see that that error has gone and if i'll try to print this time the employees what will happen so let us see now right so first we are printing prior to sorting and next we are printing uh, post sorting so previously we were having age 32 33 and 29 34 this time if you will say if you will see i mean it is sorted based on age right so 29 coming first and their respective name is also appearing now age 32 is appearing at second and then 33 is appearing and 34 is appearing so this is how we are able to achieve natural sorting based on like uh, uh, based on age right so if we want to uh, reverse this we'll simply replace this this dot age with o dot age and o dot age with this dot age now suppose instead of age we want to sort them based on name so what we'll do we'll simply replace this dot age with this dot name and compare to method we'll have to use because this is string this time right this dot name dot o dot name right so using this we'll be able to achieve natural sorting based on uh, name so you will see that previously it was prince 32 rakesh 33 himanshu 29 a random order or the insertion order now you'll see h is coming first then p is coming and r is coming and at last rakesh is coming so this is r e h that's why it is appearing first then it is rakesh which is appearing post h so r e h and r e k so this is how we can achieve natural sorting so whenever there is custom class and we want to achieve sorting so there are two ways one way is comparable so if there is a requirement to sort based on either of the parameter let us say on basis of name or age in those cases we'll go for comparable as we just did and in case we want to implement sorting based on both the parameters then in those cases we go for the comparator that will be covering in the next lecture so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current series and similarly after implementing this comparable interface we can use this employee in set as well as maps to achieve the natural sorting and it will work as it is as like the previous lecture so this is what i wanted to cover guys thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again